Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out. Hey, bad boy. Are you ready for a sexy, sexy toy review? Stay tuned. Me. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back by popular demand and welcome back to the show. All right, here we are guys. We are doing another vintage action figure review. Uh, we are doing the 31 days of Halloween and we have now I'm going to apologize because I know nothing about this figure. I know nothing about the name. I just like how she looks, bro. And here is the name. I'm going to try to sound it out. It is Nina Delano. Nina, Nina Delano. Nina Delano. Nina, Nin, Nin, Ninda, 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 and then there's the two heads, demons. I don't know what's going on, dude. The purple hair with two heads. Uh, it is actually on great, great card, bro. I, I hate to break this figure open, but you know, you guys know me. I'm an unboxing channel. But I definitely would like to cut this piece out because this is some great artwork right here, man. Magnificent artwork in the in the this right here as well. I definitely want to save this piece. As a matter of fact. You know what? I'm actually going to, instead of ripping this off card, I'm actually going to cut it from the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Cut it from the bottom. Uh, but nonetheless, here is... Um, all right. here. Well, here's a little read-up. We'll do a little read-up on Nin, 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 Nina Delano. Nina Delano. Um, here are some... Uh, one other fig that you can get from this. I know nothing about this uh, figure. No, nothing. I, I, know, I don't know the backstory. I don't know anything, bro. Uh, it is from Future, Future, Future Toys uh, by Artstorm. Uh, I don't know if this is based on an anime or a video game or a comic book. If you guys know, let me know because I'm not familiar. So here's a little read up on Nindalano. We'll, re we'll read it real quick before we take her out the package. Okay. The heroine of Phantom Core, a freelance suppressor of weapon creatures in a dopester. She lost her arm in a fight with a weapon creature and made her left cyborg arm with a spell machine. Her hobby is making variety varies. Her hobby is her hobby is making variety varies spear arms and suits. That doesn't sound right. It's supposed to be various. I think that is. That's how you spell various. Maybe it is. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a dumbass. Um, and then here's the blue version right here as well. She's supposed to have purple hair, but there's no purple hair. She don't got no purple hair, man. All right, guys, uh, let's take her out of package. And I'm really intrigued by this figure. So I'm going to cut it out from the bottom because I want to save the card. So let me bring my camera down just a little bit. If you guys are tuned in with me for this review, well, thank you. That means you guys live dangerously. <laughs> you live vicariously. Shit, I already messed up the card. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out. Let's try to pull her out from the bottom. Or can we? Can I? I'm pretty sure. Hold on one moment. I don't know if I can, bro. Right, there's that. There's that. 
end. All right. There's that. <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking up the whole entire card, bro. Let's see, I already got that piece out. Hold on one moment. Oh. I feel like it's I feel like this is jammed. <laughs> there we go. After two days. <laughs> two days of trying to get it out. And it doesn't make a difference because I still fucked it up anyways. But yeah, there you go. That's that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to preserve the card. Is because of that. But I already fucked it up. But man, some great, great artwork, man. That is some great artwork. Really dope. Okay, I'm going to try to preserve what I can. Still, I'm still going to cut it, but... Man, the packaging from back in the day... When, when was this? When did this come out? Uh, is there a year on here? I don't even know the year. If you guys know any information about this figure, let me know, man. Because there's no year on it. There's really... I don't know nothing about this uh, figure, man. All right. Let's get to the figure, because that's what you guys are here for. And man, does she look badass, bro? <laughs> she looks badass. What's going on? Whoa, mama. Hello. Not much, but. <laughs> well, actually, a whole lot, but, you know, not much as far as, you know, junk in the trunk. But nonetheless, damn, she is beautiful, bro. And she actually does have a pretty nice weight to her. So she's not like a lightweight, uh, cheap plastic, man. But damn, she looks great. This is really nice, man. Having it in a hand is really nice. I do wish she had the purple hair, but I'm not complaining. The face is whatever. She's still hot. <laughs> she still has a cute face. The overall detail, skulls for the boobs. You can never go wrong with putting skulls on an action figure. Just an overall... Nice looking figure, man. There's the tattoo back side, back right there. Is she even wearing anything? <laughs> it's going, it's going into her butt. All right, so let's check out the articulation. And I'm sure you guys are curious about this claw thing. And man, there is no articulation on this thing. It is bendable, so you can grasp stuff. But I wouldn't bend it that much because... It's not, it doesn't look like it's a durable plastic, so I wouldn't bend it too much. But that arm is just freaking awesome and weird and spectacular at the same time. So that was the articulation for that arm right there. It can, can it rotate? Yeah, it can probably rotate, but um, this arm, there's no bend at this elbow. Just the arm go, goes up and down and nothing at the legs legs thighs knees nothing nothing at the ankles nothing it's just pretty much an articulated statue great looking figure awesome cosplay cosplay figure and she actually stands up really nice all right so actually let's put it back here so well how long she stands before she tips over uh, let's take a look at her amazing base and other accessories. So here is the base in which she stands on. Just a circular base. Yashuri, Yashuri Nairsara Future. Made in China. And this is kind of like a hard plastic base. Skeletons on it. What have you. Does she have a peg hole? Yeah, she does have one peg hole. Which... Probably just pegs into that like that. Hold on one minute, guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Great looking figure, man. Let's take a look at her two-headed demons. 
and very very nice man <clears throat> they are purple purple with spikes there is no articulation at all they're just kind of a piece a chunk of plastic that's pretty much it oh yeah wait head the heads move i had to catch myself there i was going to say the head but the heads move the heads move they are articulated and i guess you could put them right here i kind of feel like they put this peg in a weird spot i feel like well maybe they hold on maybe i'm doing it all wrong here <clears throat> there we go that and then you put the demons right there man that looks badass bro she looks really really good i'm actually i'm actually a bit surprised man i'm a bit surprised i this is why i love reviewing like these vintage action finger figures that nobody's ever reviewed before maybe some of you guys have reviewed them maybe maybe there are some reviews of this figure but um just bringing these figures to light man they're just they're just kind of lost gems you know what i mean i mean we're so busy drooling over the new stuff that we completely forget about a lot of the old stuff that was released that was just kind of just epic bro let's do some reviews man or excuse me some comparisons so here is the conqueror this is spawn if you're wondering so that's how she measures up we'll actually we'll do a measurement so if you're wondering how tall she stands, Nina, I'll just call her Nina. Nina stands at about six and seven eighth tall. That's just a little under seven inches tall. On the base, she's at eight and one fourth tall. That's between eight inches and eight and a half inches on the base. And if you're wondering about this small little guy, he's at about uh two and three four tall that's just a little under three inches let's do some more comparisons with some other figs here is nina with neca frankenstein as you can see my camera son of a bitch as you guys can see uh she uh frankenstein is actually of course bigger but she actually measures up well with frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster. We get it. We gotcha. If you're wondering about a Batman fig, why not? Batman, look at that. She actually measures up. She actually goes very well with Batman. That's how she measures up with Batman. Very dope. How about Wonder Woman? DC Wonder Woman. She's actually taller than Wonder Woman. Um let's see how about how about one more fig i'm looking i'm looking let's do her with a let's put her with mcfarlane so she's actually pretty tall for the time period whichever that was i don't know when this figure came out i'm guessing it has to be the 2000s because that's when all the articulated statues came out is like around the around the 2000s period so let me let me give you my rating guys i think this this chick is magnificent bro she's really really nice man um the face is pretty good not that bad the hair i they said purple hair but the, she doesn't have any purple hair it's red hair she has overall everything else is pretty much good man the arms the body still holds up the tattoos skulls are great the base is great the little demon guy right here is great. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Just simply based on like an articulated statue. Great, great freaking articulated statue, man. Uh, very nicely done. The skulls are done nicely. The demons is done nicely. The figure is done nicely. There's nothing more I can really say other than a great fucking figure. Uh, like I said, I don't know anything about this figure. If you guys know anything, anything at all about this figure, about this character... Leave it in the comment section and I'll pin it to my page, man. I, I feel I feel like I should have done research, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.